Hi, I'm Lauren and welcome to my channel. So today I am doing a pretty little thing haul and most of these items are summer based stuff, really trendy, really cute. So let's just get started. Starting off with bottoms, I picked up these tie-dye pair of joggers. They are called the Plus Light Blue Tie-Dye Basic Cuffed Hem Joggers. And I picked these up in a US 18. They kind of have this blue speckled tie-dye all over them. And tie-dye has been very trendy, so I had to pick up a pair in a jogger style because sweatsuits during quarantine were super popular and I don't doubt that they will be popular post quarantine. So the next pair of bottoms that I picked up are these cream colored jeans, trousers, I don't know, but they are called the Plus Ecru Contrast Stitch Flared Jean and I bought these while they were on sale so I'm not really sure if they're still available and I picked them up in a 20. They are also kind of see-through, which is kind of annoying again, but we'll just have to find a way to make them work. They also were way too long, so I had to give them a raw hem, which I don't mind. Mostly all of my pants are a raw hem and I think they're cute that way. They also have this really cool stitching down the center um, of the leg, which is kind of a cool detail. It kind of makes them look more like trousers than just like regular jeans, but I have been needing like white or light washed pants. So I picked them up and they'll do. They're not the best, but they'll do. The last pair of bottoms that I purchased was this skirt. It's literally just a plain basic black skirt because you can just never have enough of these and I don't have a pair. They are also called the Plus Black Brushed Ribbed High Waist Bodycon Skirt and I also bought these in a 20. The material is really weird. It's not like what you would expect. It's kind of like a, a sweater material, kind of like a sweatery ribbed material if you can see that. But much like the last two items, I guess because I'm short, I'm five, three and a half, this skirt is way too long on me. So I'm definitely gonna have to get them hemmed. But again, it's just a plain black basic skirt. So I think this could be paired with like a million different things and I don't mind having to shorten it. It's not that big of a deal. It's also extremely, extremely stretchy. So you know it's gonna be comfortable when you're out wearing this. I think everybody needs a basic black skirt. Moving on to tops. The first top that I have to share with you guys is kind of difficult to show. Okay, it's like this white asymmetrical long sleeve bodysuit type of ordeal. I don't even know how to explain it, but it is called the Plus Cream Slinky Choker Neck bodysuit. It is double lined though, so like it's not just one fabric. I don't know how to explain that, but it's like it's double layered. So it has a little bit of coverage, but definitely not enough, so you'd have to wear like a skin toned underwear. I think this is so cute. I think the asymmetrical style is very in currently and like the one shoulder, I think it's very chic and cute. It's also a very, very stretchy material. It's also super comfortable. And yeah, I think it's very classy. And because it's white, it could totally, it could totally be styled in a number of ways from like streetwear or could make it look elegant, style it with like muled heels and jeans. The next top that I have to share is this tank top, which is not at all how I pictured how it would be, which kind of a letdown, but it's fine. I mainly bought it because of the corset detail, but it's basically just kind of like a tank top um, with like this floral detail. It's pink. Again, a main reason why I bought it is because it's pink, but it is called the Plus Pink Floral Seam Detailed 
crop top and I bought this in an 18 which I'm really surprised about because again it's really really big and on the model it was super skin tight not skin tight but it was tight and it looked like a corset because of the corset detailing right there if you can see the seams wow you literally cannot tell it has like a seam running down it right here and in the middle and again right here and it feels like it has really thin boning which is why i thought it was like a corset but it's not which kind of sucks i really should have read the t the details of the top before buying it that's my own fault but i mainly bought it again because the way that it kind of like comes down to a v at the bottom which i think is really cute again kind of like a corset type look I mean, it fits, it's fine, but it, the fit isn't exactly how I want it to be. But I'll make it work. You know how we do here. Okay, the next top that I bought, which is kind of another fail. But that, again, the fail is on my end. I bought a size way too big, but it is this beautiful, gosh, I was so excited for this. It's, wow, you can't even tell literally what it is. It's kind of like this high neck type of crop top i don't even know how to describe it but it's kind of like in this satiny type of material it's so cute it's called the plus black structured satin halter neck crop top and i bought this in a i think i bought this in a 20 when i really should have gotten 18 i don't know why i bought it in a 20 my fault but it is just way too big for me but there are some adjustments that i could totally make that could make this top work but i bought this because i thought it was super elegant and really cute and would be really nicely styled with like light wash jeans like do you see do you see the vibe i'm going for i don't know i also bought this from the sales section so i have no idea if it's available anymore this also has no stretch which Maybe that's why I bought it in a larger size. I don't know. I'm trying to figure it out. Kind of sucks because it's another fail. But it's not something that we can't work with. Never give up, ladies. The last top that I picked up that ended up not being a fail is this little milkmaid style top in like this like cheesecloth-y type of material, kind of like cottony. It is called the Plus White Cheesecloth Puff Sleeve Crop Top. And I bought this in an 18, which is good because it actually fits. Um, again, I bought this from the sales section, so I have no idea if it's available anymore. But it is so cute. This top is actually really to die for. I am excited to style her. Everything else about this top is super duper cute i am obsessed with like the lacing up at the front part and how it kind of like cinches in the waist i think it's super flattering there is nothing wrong with this top even though it's white it's kind of like a thicker material so it's not see-through which i appreciate because so far the white items that i've picked up have been a no-go but it's fine it's fine i don't like to complain so we make her work we make her work. Okay, now on to the last items that I've picked up. They're all dresses, so let's get to it. The first dress that I have to share is this green kind of sagey wrap dress. It has a cutout in the center. This is gonna look so freaking cute during the summertime. I don't know, during like a brunch or like a late dinner. I'm just imagining myself post quarantine. The name of this top is Plus Sage Green Stretch Ruched Bust Cutout Wrap Dress. That was really long. Bought this in a size 20 and it fits perfectly everywhere except for the shoulders. I, again, I think it's because I'm short, so I kind of have to tuck in this shoulder part into my bra and that pretty much fixes all of my issues the material is super duper stretchy it's so comfortable 
and there's just so many things going on in this dress but like they all work like i love the square neck detail favorite part have been obsessed with that and then it kind of has like this little cinching up in the top part and then not only is there a cutout right in the center to finish it off it is kind of like a wrap dress if you can see that it's a wrap part i think it's super cute they all work perfectly even though there is so much going on they all make so much sense and i just i love this dress a lot and i can just see myself wearing this in like europe or something i don't know i don't know i love her so versatile i think she'll look super cute with sandals or, or heels the next dress that i have to share is this beautiful bodycon printed white and black dress if you know me you know that i have been obsessing over these like tie straps and they're everywhere they're on the bottom you can cinch right there and they're also in the back portion but this dress is called the plus white woven ruching strappy heart print bodycon dress i also bought this in a size 20 the heart the tiny hearts all over it is probably my favorite part and because of the ruching it is completely flattering and it just molds to your body perfectly and it hugs you all in the right spaces and it's so forgiving because if you have a belly the ruching totally hides that and again because of the ruching if you are short like me the ruching totally saves you you can make it as short or as long as you like the dress also has no stretch so if you're someone who's like in between sizes i'd say size up just for safety reasons but it is pretty true to size so you don't have to worry about that the next dress that i picked up i am really obsessed about and it's just that this dress it has a bunch of butterflies all throughout it and it's ruched up in the side it's called the plus white butterfly print mesh ruched bodycon dress and i bought it in a size us 20 and it's very very stretchy again because it is white it is a little bit see-through but because of the butterfly print going on it's not really that big of a deal and you could always wear skin tone underwear and that pretty much fixes literally everything it's got like this cowl neck detail going on and then it cuts off right here at the waist just to give the dress more shape and definition and then it cuts off into like the skirt portion where it's got some ruching right here and you can't can you adjust it oh you can you can adjust that part and then it kind of frills out at the bottom my favorite part obviously is the butterflies and i love how they're like pastel and kind of sprinkled all throughout i just think oh, it's so beautiful this definitely gives me like coachella vibes if coachella was happening this year but that's canceled um <laughs> i'll be wearing this to the music festival that is happening in my room when all I play is One Direction because I am not over that. Okay, hey, on to the last two dresses that I picked up. This one is probably my favorite. It is this black kind of ribbed dress. I already have worn it a couple times, so I took off the tag. I don't remember the name. I did pick this up in a US 20, again, in that ribbed material. But I love this because it's kind of like got that wife beater style top and but it's a dress which i love so much it gives me model off duty vibes and there are just so many ways to style this dress i've already made a tiktok about it follow me on tiktok if you don't what the heck i think everybody needs like an lbd in their closet and this is definitely mine and my favorite now the last dress that i picked up and my favorite is this beautiful 
lavender slip styled dress. I already have worn this again a couple times, so I've already torn off the tag but it's like in this lilac color and in like this satiny material. I know on the website it's supposed to be a bodycon dress, but because I wanted it to look more like a loose slip on my body, I ordered a size up. So instead of a size 20, I think I got a size 22 just to be more roomy and that worked out perfectly. So I just, oh, there's so many things about this dress that I love so much. The fact that it's purple, one or lilac and then i love the material so much it's got like this like floral satin material going on and it's like shiny and then there's also a slit at the bottom of it so it kind of adds shape and definition to the dress because without it it would be super boxy and just kind of like a shift dress and that's not super cute or flattering. So I love that about this. Again, so many ways you could style this. You could dress this up or you could dress this down. I personally have worn it with like my platform 8053s from Doc Martin. Love those shoes. And I think they look so good with this dress. But again, you could totally dress this up with like a pair of mules and make it like 90s either way i love her i think she's beautiful i'm obsessed i'm obsessed you guys i love this dress so much that is pretty much it for this haul i hope you guys enjoyed if you have any questions or whatever leave them down in the comments below and yeah thumbs up the video subscribe if you'd like but that is pretty much it for this video and I'll see you guys next time. Stay safe, you guys.